Let's be honest, my channel kinda sucks. Sure, there are still videos of mine I do like, like my Sasha Baron Cohen Review Marathon and my Weezer series, but most of my videos are just shit. I'm actually working to change this. I'm currently writing multiple scripts of videos I actually plan to try on instead of, you know, turning on a microphone and aimlessly rambling for a couple minutes and calling that a video. Before I start taking my channel a little bit more seriously, I thought it would be a good idea to do a reflection video on my channel thus far. So here it is, the top 5 worst Slacker Reviews videos. Number 5, Lil B Gotta Make the NBA Rant. Yes, believe it or not, there was actually a time where I was trying to be a reaction channel. Not this type of reaction channel, just a channel that every time a music video or a movie is released makes a quick two minute video where they basically just say, this is good or this is bad without really elaborating. And that's basically what this video was. I didn't really make any arguments outside of this song sucks, which isn't an argument at all. The video isn't funny, it isn't clever, it isn't thoughtful, it's just a waste of time. What's hilarious is this ended up being my most controversial video, if you even want to call it that. Lil B fans were outraged. I got tons and tons of hate comments, so much so that I actually did a follow-up video where I responded to those hate comments. Overall, it was just a massive waste of time. It didn't entertain anyone, and it gained my channel a lot of trolls who were spamming my comment sections every day with obnoxious hate comments. I even had some supposed hackers threaten to steal personal information and credit card numbers from me. Um, that thankfully never happened, but yeah, this video was just a complete disaster on all fronts. Number 4, Welcome to My Channel. Yeah, this was the first video I ever uploaded, and at the time I just wanted to put something on the channel even though I had nothing ready. So I slapped together a typical generic, Welcome to My Channel guys, please subscribe type video. Not only do I sound completely monotone and boring, the video just doesn't make any sense. The video is recorded as if this is everyone's first video they ever saw of my channel, which just isn't the case. Nobody finds your welcome to my channel video first, and by the time they do find it, they'll already know what type of videos you make on your channel, so yeah, it's pretty much pointless. The video's not going anywhere because it's kind of historic for this channel, but if you are planning to start a YouTube account, Please save yourself the embarrassment and don't do a welcome to my channel video. Trust me, it's just a bad idea. Number three. Oh god, this is when it really starts getting embarrassing. <laughs> Alright. Finding Eminem's house on Google Maps. Oh god. Oh god. This video is a piece of shit. So yeah, this video is exactly what it sounds like. I literally just went on Google Maps and found Eminem's old house. Um, I went through an extremely embarrassing Eminem phase. I still like some of Eminem's music, but I was so into Eminem, it was absolutely pathetic. And yeah, I one day was bored, so I searched up Eminem's old house that's on the front covers of uh, Marshall Mathers LP 1 and 2 and decided to make a quick video showing it off. And yeah, this is the most lame fanboy shit I've ever seen. I hate this video so much, so I deleted it. It doesn't exist anymore, and I have no plans of doing anything like this again. Um, yeah, let's just forget this ever happened. <laughs> Number 2, Vortex Podcast, Episode 2, Goodbye Liam. So this one requires some explaining. About two years ago, before I started my YouTube channel, I was involved in a good old-fashioned internet drama. Now, I really don't want to open this can of worms again, and I'm currently on good standings with everyone involved, and I would like to keep it that way, even though I don't communicate with many people from that time anymore. For the sake of this video, I need to explain a little bit what happened, just the bare basics. I don't give a shit about this drama, it was stupid in general, and it's dumb that I'm even bringing this up, but I, I kind of want to talk about this video in, in some way. So the YouTube channel Child's Play Movies 1 got in a little fight with another YouTube channel called CM Movie Studios, who at the time went by Brian Avenger, and uh, this fight went on for a ridiculous amount of time, and it got to the point where I jumped in 
tried to settle it, and everyone was kind of cool with each other for a little bit. So um, me and CM Movie Studios uh, started a podcast, a movie discussion podcast called Vortex. Around this time, Child's Play Movies 1 announced that he was leaving YouTube, so just to kind of, you know, show respect, we did a episode with him where it was kind of supposed to be like his goodbye video special, <laughs> and um, about a couple weeks later, if I remember correctly, he made another video saying, April Fools, it was just a prank, guys. Fuck you, you just got pranked, ha! Huh? Got him! So yeah, I basically had a video on my channel of us supposedly getting pranked. I I don't really believe um, this was intended always as a prank. Um, I have talked to him since, and I'm just going to say it was it was his plan. It was all a prank in general. Whatever. Let, let's just go with that. So yeah, I had a video of me getting pranked on my channel, and for some fucking reason, I didn't delete it until just recently. So this horrible, embarrassing video was up for a huge amount of time, and I guess I just kind of forgot it was online. Um, so yeah, it's gone now. Um, that whole situation is over. <laughs> oh my god, I, I can't believe I put myself through that. It is terrible. Whew, we got through it. We got through it. I brought up the drama, opened up the can of worms. Let's just hope this doesn't escalate to something greater. Probably not. Most of these channels are pretty inactive at this point. But yeah, we got through it. Let's move on. Jesus Christ. So here it is. The worst video I've ever made. Robin Williams is dead. Why do we care? The reason this is number one is because it was just an extremely scummy thing for me to do. So when Robin Williams died, I made a video pretty much instantly expressing my sadness and whatever and my memories of Robin Williams. Now, the video was genuine in a lot of ways. I am a fan of Robin Williams, I always have been, and I do think the guy was a part of my childhood. But if you watched the video, you would get the impression that I was some major Robin Williams fan, and I would be lying if I told you I didn't have views in my mind when I made that video. I kind of did. It wasn't totally like, oh, I'm just going to cash in on his death. It wasn't fully like that, but there was an element of that, which is totally scummy and totally horrible. And nowadays, people do that all the time. David Bowie recently that whole thing happened. Everyone's making tribute videos and I feel kind of sick that I contributed to that. Just this this whole system of you know pretending to be super sad about something just to get views and even if that wasn't fully my intentions, which it wasn't completely, it still came off really bad and really fake and it, I, I cringe every time I just think about this video, the fact that I actually uploaded this. Like I said, I wasn't even a massive Robin Williams fan. I liked him a lot. I was a fan of his, but I wasn't some die-hard fan. He, he didn't mean as much to me as a lot of people did, especially since I kind of missed his golden age. Um, so yeah, this video is, is just horrible. It's, it's horrendous, and I, don't, I, I wish I could stop thinking about it, but every time a celebrity dies, I just think, damn, I was that stupid, dumbass, generic YouTube channel that did a tribute video, even though it's, it's not something I really have place talking about, because I wasn't a massive fan of his. Just the thought that I was that guy just makes me feel kind of nauseous. There you have it, guys. Top 5 Worst Slacker Reviews Videos. Like I said, my channel is pretty mediocre, and I am definitely going to try at least to do something about it, because it, we, we can't go on like this. But hey, if I try something new and it doesn't work, I'm not stopping. I'm always going to be making videos, because I freaking love having a YouTube channel, even though nobody's watching. And I, I'm well aware of this. There's Maybe the odd person stops by who's subscribed to me, but for the most part, my fan base is non-existent. But hey, I'll always be making videos, even if I'm the only one watching them, because I just like doing it. It's fun. That's why 
I've gone so long just making shitty generic videos because I, I like making shitty generic videos. Um, but yeah, I think this is the fork in the road. New Year is a good time for me to kind of expand and to at least try to put some effort into this and make a half-decent, entertaining video. And that's what I'm going to try to do. So my next video, hopefully, is going to be a new chapter in this legacy of mine.